across uh, to Manisha. She's standing by. She's going to tell us what's uh, transpiring in the currency space. Uh, rupee moving to multi-month uh, highs, uh, Manisha. Lose rather. Lose, it's, lose. Tra it's trading at an eight-month lows, and we've seen a level of 68.25 coming in on that. The levels are very important right now. The slide has been nearly 3% from November 10th. And remember, rupee had hit an all-time low of 68.80 in August 2013. So we are just 50 to 55 pesa away from those kind of levels, and that is what the markets are watching out on their charts right now. And the cues have been coming in from the global as well as domestic markets. In the domestic markets, there are reports of heavy dollar buying coming in from uh, foreign investors and also importers and that has been putting pressure the whole demonetization impact the sell-off in equities trading at a six-month lows as well has taken the you know breeze out of the uh, rupee there in the global markets as well the expectation of a fed rate hike the u.s dollar index at a 13-year highs the asian currencies as well declining is something that is putting pressure so the rupee is not alone in this if you look at the chinese yuan that's at an eight-year lows you have the japanese yen trading at a six-month lows the euro is trading at an 11-month lows as well but we did speak to some bankers and they say that 68.80 is the kind of level that is not expected to breach. You might see RBI come into curb volatility. Pretty much all the central banks really are working on that. You have Indonesia intervening directly into market. You have Malaysia clamping down on the offshore futures market. Singapore as well has short warnings on excess volatility in the markets. So uh, most of the central banks really seem to be correcting or looking very cleanly onto their currencies. Oh yes, point taken Manisha, but really 0.13 is the fall